In the video today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the fluid volume feature in Sim Studio Tools. This allows you to create bodies out of negative volume in the mold. This can be done on either runner systems or cooling channels. This is the mold that we'll be working on today. The first thing you should do is change the pointer to select body priority. This allows you to click on the body as opposed to a component. Next, we're going to create patches on each of the holes. You can do this by clicking on it and then hitting repeat patch and clicking on all the holes of the cooling channel in your model. Next, go to the create pull down and click on fluid volume. Now we're going to click on volume and set it to internal and then click on all the patches that we just created, including the mold that it's surrounded in. This is the warning that we're getting now, which says no internal void has been detected. Once we click on the cavity, this will go away. Now if we had some of these other components, we can see the cooling channel that we just created, and it's now a separate component in the tree. Now we can do this again with this more complicated cooling channel. Again, we're going to patch the holes. Next, we're going to go down to the Create drop-down change it from volume to internal, click on the two holes that we just created. Once you click on the holes, you can click on the cavity that it's withheld in and click on OK. Now this is ready to go over to mold flow. What's nice is that the add-in in Sim Studios allows you to send this straight into mold flow and create a new project. This brings our entire model in and even separates it into different parts in the layer tree. Here we can see the two cooling channels that we exported from the mold in Sim Studios. You're going to want to change all the properties to channel 3D, set the analysis to cool FEM, and change the cooling circuits so that they have an inlet and an outlet. You can do this by selecting coolant inlet slash outlets on the left hand side and clicking on each end. After this is done, we can use the 3D channel mesh I'm going to change the max edge length to 4 and mesh now. This only takes around 45 seconds, but let's just go over to the results now and look at what our mesh looks like. Here you can see the boundary layers formed on the cooling channel in order to calculate the fluid flow. This utilizes Autodesk CFD Solver to account for the conformal cooling. You can see in the res velocity results how there's high flow spots and dead ends. In the conformal cooling, you would want to optimize the flow throughout. Ideally, you would want to see consistent cooling like you can in the middle. Hopefully this video allowed you to see how you can create volume from negative space in a mold using Sim Studio tools. You can also automatically import that into mold flow and run results in order to optimize your cooling channel.